Hi, welcome to the world of MoveCat. My name is Oliver, I'm the CEO of MoveCat and together with my colleague Jan, the famous rigger from the western part of Germany, I would like to explain the world of MoveCat. MoveCat is much more than just chain hoists. MoveCat is band hoists, winches, any kind of devices, control systems, load measurement systems, accessories like cables, cases and much more. I assume that most of you have got a little idea what we can do with the product range we offer and we would like to give you a much deeper impact of the uh, possibilities and opportunities of our products. So Jan, I would like to ask you, why do we have six chain hoists behind us, which look most or more than less the same size and the same attitude? What's the difference between of these? Well, yes, all six hoists look the same pretty much, um, but with the MoveCat box principle, with adding some bits and pieces, um, we gave them totally different purposes. For example, although if they look the same, this one is a one ton, this one is a half ton, this one again is a one ton, and the one on the very end is just a quarter ton hoist, but the one on the very end can go 33 meters a minute, whilst this one can just go four meters a minute. So we start with the basic, according to European regulations, D8 hoist, four meters a minute, one break, this one, it has a second brake attached, it's D8+, plus, so we can leave out the safety, but it's just half ton load capacity. Next one is a one ton D8+, plus, again with two brakes. Um, this one has some limit switches attached, again just a half ton. Then we come to the C1 range where we added some temperature measurements, some uh, weigh encoders, and the last one uh, we come to the very high-end VMK show relevant stuff which can go pretty fast and everything is attached to it from temperature sensors, double brakes, double control and frequency converted speed ranges. Uh, thank you very much Jan. I would like to give some more additional information for the clients which are looking for individual uh, customized solutions for their venues. The OMK is uh, available in a basic version, which is just fulfilling the German legislation BCV C1 and can be equipped with additional features like load measurements, so incremental encoder, absolute encoder, temperature sensor, brake gap sensor, and whatever you might need for your venue. As well, the plus light quadrat in Germany, we can uh, add some features like encoders, load measurement situation, and whatever is necessary to fulfill your requirements for the venue. Thank you very much. Let's step to the next challenge, which is called controls. Because what you see here is the direct control version, which is most popular in Germany or in Central Europe. And Jan, could you please explain if there is a chance to have some other control? Here we have a 32 channel touring rack um, designed to use 32 fixed speed, four meters per minute hoists at once with a special need and unique features added to it. Um, first of all, probably worth mentioning is the dead man button story. So uh, you, as you all might probably know, is when you link up more than one controller, if you have more than 32 hoists running at once, uh, this one, for example, can link up seven units, so we end up with more than 200 hoists. If you imagine you have 200 hoists spread out over your venue, moving them all at once, how will one person spot every hoist in the same, from the same position at the control stand? Therefore, we got these dead man button handles, which can be attached to the controller right in the back, and sets the whole system on error, so you cannot do anything with it right now, apart from when you have one guy or four of them per unit spread out through the venue, watching the whole grid, having the dead man button pushed a little, it's a panic button, if you push it too far, it'll set it to error again. But you can just use the controller when all of the dead man buttons attached are pressed to the appropriate position. And then you can use it like up and down, like all, all, like all the controllers you know before. Um, there are a couple of more neat, unique features. First of all, what I like to mention is we can switch from a single mode, which you know, to a master mode with this key. What that means is all the single buttons and switches are disabled right now. They can be put to up or down or whatever. Now we have just this switch enabled. Uh, and the whole controller runs all channels up or down. 
And the th third thing which is worth mentioning is the bypass buttons hidden in here because no secret, the 32 channel controller is a one, two, three, four times eight channel controller linked together. But just imagine the second one breaks down for whatever reason, then the whole rack might be dead and you cannot run any hoist at all. Therefore, we got these bypass switches integrated, which you can push in with a sharp thing, and then you have at least the rest of the channels up and running, although one of the eight hoists, eight hoist controller things is dead. Talking about standard controls for standard chain hoists, we started with talking about the touring rack, and now I would like to show you some other MPC controls, motion power controls for MoveCat. Uh, the wide range offers you the opportunity to start simple with just up moving up and down or to getting a little bit more sophisticated in the situation with load measurement or incremental encoders, so way positioning. And uh, this is added by a range of remote controls. Here's an example of the four channel remote control cable wired version. This is available as well in eight channels, 12 channels, 16 channels, 24 channels. And if you want, and if you have big arms, 32 channel tablet, which is not very convenient. Most of you would like to prefer to use a wireless remote control, which is available in 12, 24, 32 channels. This is a redundant system, starting with a simple 12 channel control, which shows now lightened up and down so that there is no misuse possible in the dark and the backstage and um, the battery is exchangeable and this can be connected to any kind of these controls as well as the wired version. So this is the wide range. Also available the radio frequency control with a box which can connect it to any kind of third party controls. Just contact our support team to figure out if your third-party control can be linked together with our radio frequency control. Hello, this is Oliver, I'm the CEO of MoveCat and today I would like to show you the most exciting product in the chain hoist sector. This is the so-called Pro Stage. In the studio it's upside down, basically it's a climbing hoist. But nevertheless, if you have a look to the body, you will see that we have got an extremely smart left side, which was in the basic chain hoist a little bit bigger. And so it's a m very complex product on very narrow space. We use, instead of the round chain, the squared chain with this product, so we can carry with this small body one ton following the 8 plus legislation in Germany. The most impressive feature is inside of the hoist. That's the first series where we put in a narrow counter because some of you might remember that you have to calculate the remaining hour lifetime of the hoist after every year. And to help you to figure out the remaining lifetime cycle, we had inserted the hour account, hour account. So if you press here the button, you will see that this hoist was running 25 hours in its life. Nevertheless, this might help you, but another feature will be as great as the hour counter, that's the new type sign, which is based on our chain hoists and products containing, where is it, QR codes. You can use any kind of mobile device just using the typical camera and just scanning the first QR code. And the first QR code will lead you to the website where you'll find the manuals and the descriptions of the product. The second QR code, and I would like to use here in the studio my scanner and say click, and then we open the serious number which contains the inspection book. You might remember you have got a physical inspection book with you on the venue, and if you have 2,000 hoists on the venue, you might need 2,000 inspection books. Nobody will take care of these. So here you have got all information in the internet containing maintenance, service issues, and all necessary data to prove a safe hoist. Audio Jungle. Welcome to MoveCat. My name is Oliver, I'm the CEO for MoveCat, and together with my colleague Jan, I would like to explain the world of motion, stage automation, 
scenic effects, fast running devices, and I have none better specialist than Jan, who is operating the system since over 15 years, Correct. as I guess, yeah. And so he's very familiar with the devices, the controls, the scenic effects, and whatever might be interesting for you watching the world of motion. Please, Jan. Thank you very much, Oliver, for that very kind introduction. Well, yes, moving on from chain hoists, let's talk the real stuff, because let's, let's be honest, for real show automation, chain hoists are considered to be a little boring because they are pretty loud and quite slow. If you want to have the real fun, we need to talk about winches, right? These look pretty big, and in the end, they can just carry 125 kilos, but they can move the 125 kilos with three meters per second, which is hell of a speed. These winch can be controlled with the same accessories as the chain hoist. We have our V-motions, which can control a winch or a chain hoist or even a band hoist, right? If you haven't heard about band hoist, that's a wonderful product right in the middle between a chain hoist and the winch, because as far as I know, cost-wise, speed-wise, and lifting capacity-wise, it sits right in the middle. The only thing where it even exceeds a winch is the viewing angle. If you want to have a sleek thing which moves stuff up and down but is almost invisible, the band hoist is the one you need to go to. But since we've spoken so badly about the chain hoist, there is one thing to mention about chain hoists. They can handle really, really high loads. The lifting capacities and where move cat chain hoists can be ordered starts from 125 kilos and ends up with 2.5 tons. So if you want to lift high loads, go for the chain hoist. Audio Jungle.